Okay, so just to add this into your notes, optical fibres and endoscopes. Optical fibres is made up of a bundle of optical fibres uh, that's split into two. So we have one set of optical fibres like this, goes down to our squeegee piece of uh, stuff inside our body, and then we're saying that's a jobby, it could be anything, it could be a tumour, it could be a blockage inside one of your, your pipes, it could be a piece of steak that you ate 10 years ago that's not quite getting down through your bum, I don't know, any of these things. Any of these things that are stuck inside your body they might want to look at, they often look at uh, obstructions, things that are stopping like gallstones and, and things that get stuck inside your body, they use an endoscope to go down and do an examination. They also look at maybe the lining of your stomach or the lining of your intestines to see if there's any damage there. Okay, so it's, it's an actual examination but they don't have to cut you open to do it, which means that you recover better. And you don't have to, have you need an anaesthetic but you don't need to get cut open. And so what does that mean? If you don't have to get cut open, what does that what kind of thing do we minimize? The risk of death. Bleeding. Death. Yeah, much more risk of death. Risk of bleeding, yep. Yeah. Less chance of bleeding, less chance of death caused by. If you cut yourself open and open it up to the air, infection. what infection? You get infected. If you that's why the minimum chance of infection, that's why when you go for an operation they're all tied up in goonies and, and face masks and things to stop infection. <laughs> so Let's say we're looking inside at this piece of brown matter. We don't even know what it is, but it's jobby-like. Or something like that. It's inside your body. Maybe that's obstructing one of your bowels. I don't know. Some of these things. We want to look inside at that. We want to see what that is. And sometimes we might even want to remove it. So some endoscopes are really fancy and have little claws and stuff at the end. Okay? But sometimes you use things called keyhole surgery, which is where they cut it and use something similar. But this is just to see inside at the moment. Now what we'd have is we take these two bundles and we split them into two. So one would one would split, we split that one down to here, and we move this one up like that. So we have two ends to this, these bundles of wires. Now one bundle is connected to to a lamp of some sort, or is shining on a lamp, and that lamp is giving off light. So that light is coming off the lamp. Uh, we'll make it a red light just to make it uh, all red, which is quite good. So there's a red light coming off here. Now that red light is going to get passed into the optical fibre and it's going to pass down the optical fibre. So it's going to pass down like that. And bounce all the way down the optical fibre and get there to the end. And the light is going to come down and hit the piece of jobby. I know it's not a nice word to use, but that's what it might be. Pardon? How can I put myself yeah, through seeing that word while I'm recording? Because I'm not afraid of Jobby. <laughs> Are you afraid of Jobby? I'm, I'm open about talking about my Jobby. Are you? <laughs> have you got? Are you? Are you um, Jobby phobic? Mm. <laughs> no, there's actually a phobia for that. Is there a Jobby phobia? Oh, I can't remember what it is. Can you not just say pieces? Well, um, pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Fecal matter. Fecal matter. Anyway. Let's see what word would you prefer I use? <laughs> okay, what would you like to change it to? What are the wee plugs that you put on you? The wee plugs you put on you? Have you been for an operation where they've inserted plugs in you? Was that not the alien examination you went when you beamed up to the spacecraft? No. What? what do you mean plugs? The wee things that monitor your heartbeat. I don't the wee know, it's sticky not things. Like, it looks like a plug and you get one there and Oh, they monitor your heartbeat and your lungs and everything. Anyway, that's not to do with this. Okay, so the light's coming from the, the lamp. It's come in, it's bouncing all the way down, and it's bouncing off this piece of matter you've got inside your body. Now, I said to you the other day, if light, light reflects off everything, that's why you see it. Light reflects off the table, that's why you see it. So, light gets reflected off this piece of matter inside. This red light gets reflected off, and we know it's brown. So, the brown will get, every, every colour except brown will get absorbed. So, the brown light gets reflected back. Now I'm not going to make it brown. This is going to bounce down here. Now this is not exactly the right angle but it's going to send light back up and the light's going to bounce all the way back up the other optical fibre back up to the other end that we've got outside the body like that there. Now they go, this goes one way and the other one goes the other way. So there's two different directions that's happening here. Light coming from the bulb down optical fibre hits off back up the other side and what's happening at this side is that's the side you look down. You have your eye. Your eye is sitting here or the observer's eye is sitting here and that's what they look at. They're looking, they're looking at that one and they're watching for the light coming back up. 
And it lets you see the colours, lets you see what's down there. Okay? And that is an endoscope. You shove it down your throat, it's quite big, and you can see what's inside and outside your body. And look at your notes there. It says, uh, and in optical fibre, it's only light that's transmitted along the fibre, but not heat. So it's important that we know that if we're looking inside the body, I'm not trying to heat up your body. If I was to take a light bulb and try and see inside my mouth, and put the light bulb inside my mouth, I'd burn my tongue. Okay? It'd be very warm. If I took a very small light bulb and put that inside my mouth, it looked, so it didn't touch my tongue, it would, it would still be warm. If I touch it against my tongue, it would burn my tongue. So the point with this is it sends light down into the body, but doesn't send heat. So we say this transmits cold light. Okay, most light has an element of heat, even the fluorescent tubes, which we know emit less heat, but fibre optics transmit cold light. So it says the optical fibre is therefore said to transmit cold light because it doesn't have any heat. The optical fibres do not transmit heat. Um, See also telecommunications topic, because we did this in telecommunications, we talked about how they work in terms of total internal reflection, and Connor has also just told us they travel at 3 times 10 per 8. Yes, you did. Optical fibres are used in endoscopes to view inside of the patient without need for surgery. Uh, if an endoscope, an endoscope, one bundle of fibres is used to carry cold light down to the patient, the second bundle is then used to send the image back to the surgeon's eye. The bundles are flexible, so it can be moved and round inside the patient. Okay. In your notes, uh, write down C jota, and in your jota, copy a little diagram down showing the direction of light going down and the direction of light coming back up. Okay, so the notes of this are in the heat topic under section three.